Tony Gibbs and I'm a principal database solution architect for Amazon Timestream and in this session I'm going to be walking you through how to set up Kinesis Data Analytics for Apache Flink to send data into an Amazon Timestream database. So what we're going to be setting up uh, in this session is uh, a Python data generator app that we've written and have hosted here on GitHub. Uh, this application is going to send data into Kinesis um, that data is then going to be read and pulled out of Kinesis using Kinesis Data Analytics for Apache Flink. We're going to have this application configured to then push the data and write it directly into Amazon Timestream. Um, th the code for, that will be written for Flink is on uh, the example code or sample code there is going to be on GitHub uh, so you should be able to pull that code down uh, and follow along um, as well as the um, connector so there's a connector that we also have uh, that is hosted by the Kinesis or KDA team uh, and that will be able to push data into time streaming you'll be able to configure that and use that with other streaming technology for example with uh, Kafka for example so let's move into the, into the Kinesis uh, console here. Um, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to first uh, go uh, to Kinesis data streams here. And we're going to create um, a data stream. So I'm just going to click here. And what we're going to end up doing here is, is I'm just going to give this um, time stream test stream. So you might want to follow along with the naming here. Um, I'm just kind of just following along with, uh, I've got some hard-coded names in some of the sample applications. Um, so if you want to follow along and not have to, you know, change a line of code here or there, um, you'll want to probably just type in time stream test if you are going along, uh, or you can just listen. Now I'm going to just keep cost low. I'm just going to create this stream with a single shard because uh, it doesn't really matter too much. So that's what I'm going to do here is to create this here. Um, this will take a minute or so um, to create this stream. So while that's creating, being created, I'm going to actually go over to the analytics applications here. So this is Kinesis Data Analytics, and I'm going to actually click on here and say create an application. So in this, I'm not going to be too creative. I'm actually just going to call this time stream. Um, and here we have a choice. We can either create uh, using the SQL runtime or the Apache Flink runtime. We're going to need to use the Apache Flink runtime and you have a choice here. Um, uh, I'm going to go with the recommended version of 1.8 because that's what we're compiling everything here for. And I'm going to go with the uh, default here, um, IAM role, which we'll talk a little bit about here on the next screen here. So creating the application, this doesn't take too long. Uh, the application is actually blank. Uh, it's not been configured really or anything like that and you can see uh, um, down here it's you know there's a few configurations that have been set. Now I'm going to click on this uh, IAM role. Uh, let's just go over here because there actually is something important that you'll need to set up um, on this here. So in this particular case um, the role that we're using um, I've configured it here uh, to have write permissions to time stream and I've configured it also um, to have read permissions from Kinesis. Um, so I, I pre-configured and made this IAM role before the session but you'll want to create something similar like this um, if you know or you'd be reading from whatever it happened to be if it wasn't Kinesis. Um, now the reason for that is is just going back to the slide here um, that's because this Kinesis data analytics application needs read access to Kinesis because it's pulling data off and it needs write access to TimeStream because it's going to be pushing data in the TimeStream. So that's the reason why we have it configured with this TimeStream write and Kinesis read here. So I'm just going to head back to um, this here. We should have at this point, I'm going to go back to the uh, data streams uh, portion of the Kinesis console and yes we have um, this TimeStream test stream which has been created with a, a single shard. Uh, so just wanted to double check that that was, had been done. Um, going back over, what we're going to now do is we are actually going to go, let's go into the um, command line here. So what I've already done is I've already downloaded the source code. I'm just going to do an ls here in the directory. Um, and this is the top level of, um, 
uh, of what you should have downloaded. So they're in here. Uh, there is this Kinesis data generator application. Uh, there's a README file. And then we have a bunch of source code as well, uh, which we'll talk a little bit about um, later on here. And then we have obviously the POM file and things like that that we uh, need to be aware of. I'm just going to cat this README file here. Um, and I'm going to scroll up. And I know there's not a lot of syntax highlighting and such. And it's a reasonably long uh, README. But at the top of the README, uh, there's, there's a couple things worth calling out here. One, we do need Java 1.8 uh, for this. And the reason for that is, is the version of Apache Flink we're using uh, requires that. So that, that's one unfortunate thing that you'll need to, um, you'll have to have that version of Java and make sure that's set up. You know, you'll also need to download um, this, ver this particular version of Apache Flink uh, to work with uh, Kinesis Data Analytics. Um, and to get this, what you're going to want to do is, is you're, you're going to you want to use wget or curl or, or maybe even just download this. Uh, but you're going to want to grab this uh, tar file. You're going to want to untar it. And you're going to want to get this installed locally in your local uh, Maven repository. So I've already done these steps, so I'm not going to step through them again. But I wanted to call out that you'll want to move through those steps uh, to get started. Then also what you'll want to do is, is you're going to want to install the TimeStream uh, SDK as well. So this SDK version here that I have, this is probably going to change by the time um, or at some point in the future. So you want to pay attention to, to this as well. Um, and so if you're going to get the TimeStream SDK, you're going to want to follow along with these instructions and get this installed locally in your local Maven as well. Um, <clears throat> once that's done, we can kind of move on to the more interesting parts um, for this time stream um, sample application that we've downloaded here. So I'm going to move on down here and you can see like we have like this, uh, we should be able to take for example uh, Maven Clean here and we should be able to run this and this should compile if you've uh, followed the other steps above. Um, and so we'll just double check that this works and it does appear to have worked here and didn't take too long to compile. Um, once that's done, um, what we'll also do um, is we're going to actually run this and I'm just going to check here. So we'll go through this. So this here is going to uh, make a little bit of an assumption that I'm on US East 1. Uh, this is going to compile and run this here or run or execute this. And what we're going to do is, is it's going to actually create implicitly um, a KDA Flink database inside TimeStream and within that a table. I'm actually just going to just call it one. I'm not going to do two. Um, and that's what that's going to create. And if I go over to the uh, TimeStream console here, um, you're going to see go over to databases. <clears throat> I, I don't have uh, this database in here yet or these tables. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, and this is going to run locally, and this is also making a little bit of assumption that that time stream test stream uh, that we created uh, exists. So it's good that we made sure to create that in that in the uh, Kinesis console. So this looks like it's uh, worked correctly here, and you can see it's um, looking for data in this shard. Uh, there's no data coming in right now. Um, and just coming back right there, we can see the KDA Flink are, is now there. And within it, we have this Kinesis Data 1. And you saw I changed the uh, name of the table to uh, KDA 1 there. So that, that's really, um, you know, you can see this table was just, just created here um, where, yes. So yeah, early in the morning in Europe, uh, even though I'm not in Europe, but that's uh, looks like that's in UTC time. So, okay. So that would be creating um, the that part there or, or compiling it and showing you that piece. Now let's move into uh, the next part of this. Um, what we're going to do now is um, we're actually going to package this. Um, and we're going to package this for uh, Flink is what we're going to do. So I'm going to run Maven package here and run this. This is going to take a second or two here. Uh, 
And what this is going to do is, is it's going to create a jar file um, of this Flink application for us to send up to AWS. And what we're going to do is for KDA. So within this directory, we should now have this target directory here. So I'm just going to change CD into that. And in here, we have this jar file. Um, so what we want to do is I'm going to send this up to S3. So I'm just going to use the AWS um, command line here, S3, and I'm going to grab, copy and paste this. And what we're going to do, and I know I created this um, bucket, which I'm not going to get into on how to create a bucket. I, um, but this is a, an S3 bucket that I have that has the appropriate permissions and such. Um, and I'm just going to paste that again there and keep the same name. And we're going to send this file up here. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. It looks like it's a pretty large file. Uh, it's about 76 megs. Um, so it's pretty quick. So it looks like that's completed now. Um, <clears throat> So let's go over to the back over to the Kinesis console here. So let's go over to this um, analytics applications here. Um, and what we're going to want to do here is uh, this is this time stream app that we've made in the KDA or Kinesis data analytics. Um, and as I mentioned before, you know, this is Apache Flink 1.8. We got to send some code up, um, but we haven't actually sent any code up yet. So we want to configure this here. Um, and so that's why I mentioned we have this S3 bucket and we have this KDA um, time stream sync is where I put it. And then the object, which I have the copy and paste there in my copy paste buffer, that should be all we need. And I know there's some other things actually monitoring is really nice to have. Let's enable that. Um, I find that it's quite useful in case we run into some sort of error. There's some scaling and stuff, but we, I will leave um, auto scaling on. And let's update this application. And this does take a few minutes uh, to do. Um, so let's let this uh, continue to update here. Uh, what's going to happen is it's actually going to put us into the next screen here. Um, it looks like it was um, loaded correctly. Now let's try running this here. And we will launch this. And this actually takes a little bit more time, this part here, to start the actual application. So we'll let this kind of run for a few minutes because it definitely will take a few. And while it's running, um, let's go over to the source code uh, of what we just sent up and we'll walk through this. So this is in my development environment here. And what we have in here is, um, I'll, I'll start with, the, with the, what the time stream sync is. So we have, um, there's two components to this. So the time stream sync is really taking in a record or multiple records, I should say. And it is going to uh, take these and send them over and make the appropriate API calls, uh, building up this, these write requests and such, and sending them over um, to TimeStream. Um, and so that's going to be uh, what's going to happen there. Now going back over to the TimeStream, or to the, going over to the TimeStream point, what this is, is this, is, uh, this rec represents each record that comes in uh, to KDA or into this uh, Flink application. Um, and so each of these would be a record that are going to be sent to the sync and then that's the data is going to be written off from there. Um, I'm going to go into the streaming job. This is really kind of the, uh, this is actually the main entry point here. And this is going to be where we would set up like how to read from Kinesis, um, set up the configuration of our time stream sync uh, and that sort of thing. So this is kind of the driver of the application. Now I've saved what 
is one of the more important parts of this uh, for last because this is the part that you would likely be configuring and hopefully you don't need to change the sync or the point or anything like that and instead what you'd be doing is, is you'd be mapping your incoming data into a point so if you had like in this case I have some incoming JSON data and I'm just going to loop through that data and I'm going to check for the attributes and uh, map it into a uh, point data there. So, um, you know, we, we made some assumptions that we're always going to have a measure value and a timestamp and a measure name, which are pretty safe to assume. Uh, you know, it's a little bit specific to time stream, um, but that's some assumptions I made. And then everything else after that uh, would be a dimension. And so that's just kind of, uh, this is a very simple uh, sa sample application for taking in data in a generic way and sending it off uh, to time stream. So this is a kind of a quick walkthrough of this code here um, uh, of what we're running. So it's actually really simple and not a lot to it. Um, so I'm going to head back over um, to the console here. Um, it looks like this application has started successfully, so that's good news. Uh, it's not hasn't um, taken in any data or anything like that yet, but it is up and running. So now we have, uh, if you remember the original architecture here, we, we have this Kinesis stream set up. We have this Kinesis data analytics um, for Apache Flink application loaded. And we have a table and a database created in time stream. Um, so that's all created, but now we need to just get this data generator app uh, set up. So let's go back to the uh, CLI here. Um, and there happens to be this uh, TimeStream Kinesis data generator app here. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'll just quickly uh, do a really quick walkthrough. It's, oops, that's not the right file. Um, we definitely don't want that. Let's go into the other file, which was the TimeStream We want to VI into the TimeStream Kinesis uh, data generator Pi app here. So going into this, um, I'm just going to jump to near the bottom, and you can see there's some parameters here that you can send data in. And I know on my font up kind of a little bit big, which is causing uh, some of this Python code to wrap. But what this is really doing is, is a very simple application that's really just taking in, um, generating some host metrics. Um, for both events and metrics and sending them off um, to Kinesis. Um, so it's a very simple app. It's using Boto3 um, just to write off these records uh, to this Kinesis uh, stream here. And uh, that's really all it's doing is just looping through, sending data in. Um, and you'll notice that uh, we conveniently named the default uh, time stream test stream here, uh, which was what we created the stream in the Kinesis uh, console there. Um, so let's jump out of this here. And um, what we're going to need to run this sample application is we're going to need to set up Boto3. As you notice, we were using Boto3 here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I already have Python 3 set up on my uh, machine here. So I, there are some assumptions that I made that you do have Python 3 and that, you know, you are running, uh, I'm walking through it obviously on a MacBook. Um, and so you might be running something else like Linux or Windows or something like that. So you'll have to adapt these steps slightly if you're following along here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a virtual environment in this local directory here um, just so I'm not uh, cluttering up the um, by installing it globally across my machine these prerequisites. So the two prerequisites that are required to run this um, are going to be Boto3 and PyNum. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to activate the virtual environment. Um, you're going to use a dot and you're going to run to source this script here and you'll see that it switches into the virtual environment. Uh, once we're in the virtual environment um, we can now uh, do pip install Boto3 and install it within that this environment. 
Fortunately, I have installed the latest version of Boto 3 recently, and uh, it is cached, so you don't have to wait for my machine to download this or Pynum. So these are the two uh, prerequisites. So now that they're both up, um, what I want to do is, is I want to just double check that um, I'm going to use um, Um, or this is um, actually using um, data grip here to query and I actually had this actually kind of set up here already um, so I, I believe that there isn't any data in here uh, there shouldn't be so this is using uh, data grip with a JDBC driver uh, to query time stream um, I don't believe there's any data in here no there's not so there's nothing in this database um, and even the limit is probably not necessary. Probably even be better just to do a ask for account here. And so, this, if for those of you who are wondering on how to set this up, uh, it's pretty simple. This JDBC time stream here uh, is what you would use um, to pull that. And yeah, there's no data or anything like that in here at all. Um, and I misspelled count is what the uh, issue there was. Um, so we'll just rerun that just so that it error goes away and yeah, there's no records in here. So since we know that there's no records, uh, let's actually run, uh, send some data into, um, into Kinesis. So this here is going to send data into Kinesis and it's going to generate some data. Um, oh, pip install pi. NumPy installed the wrong all right so now that we have this up and running um, you can see the records sent being sent over to timestream here or into Kinesis and over to timestream um, I'll just leave this running here, but if we head over here um, and we execute uh, this count, these records, there should be something in here uh, by now, um, and you can see yeah, there's already 3,100 records uh, that have come into time stream here, and if I execute this again, we should see even more uh, records in this uh, time stream table here, and if we're wanting to know what kind of this is looking like, we can just do a select star and we'll just limit only a hundred records so we're not pulling back a large number um, and we'll execute that let's see what we get here and you can see this DevOps data that is being generated by the Kinesis um, data generator app and we're getting a whole bunch of data coming in um, so I'm just gonna head over here and I'm gonna cancel this and stop streaming data in um, but that is the entire walkthrough of how to set this up um, and how easy it is um, to send data through Kinesis and have it taken off of Kinesis and put directly into TimeStream. Um, I'll just quickly go into the um, console here and you should be able to within here because we have monitoring enabled uh, you should be able to see um, Kinesis Data Analytics for Apache Flink uh, pulling uh, these recent records uh, in uh, to TimeStream or pushing them out in and out. So that is, like I said, the walkthrough. I hope you found this useful and helpful. Uh, thank you very much.